Every time I come in and out, I got to deal with this guy, this bumblebee. I don't know if y'all can see him. He's got to swoop me every time. They won't ever hurt, ever sting you unless you look at him. You're getting on my nerves, son. This ain't your porch. You hear me? Uh, that was probably. I've been out here this morning getting these joist hangers on. Uh, I'm not going to have enough of these screws. I didn't think about it when I was in town. Oh, I got a little, got a little hot headed this morning. Uh, the one clamp that broke, I went to take it back to get another one and I didn't have the receipt. And you know, they treat you like you're a thief. And, you know, I've spent a lot of money in there. Boy, I got mad. Come back out to the truck. There it was in the front seat. Yeah, I can understand not having a receipt for a refund. But uh, they don't want to stand behind their products. Scott County Hardware. Well, that's fine. I'll go somewhere else. Anyway, boy, I was hot, too. <laughs> got these up. I'm going to run out. Probably I got enough screws for about three more. I'm not even going to put one or two in each because then, you know, that stuff gets forgotten. I'm just going to leave them off when I run out, I run out. All right. We're going to work on beefing this up. And it is, oh my God, is it so humid this morning. But, got to do it. At least the sun's not out. Supposed to get some storms. We'll see. All right. Do -do -do -do. I found a whole bag of them screws. So we're good. I'm gonna finish these up today. All right. Make sure they're square. Groovy. galvanized high strength screws. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, won't you rock me Shaka Khan? Do 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 do. You got to entertain yourself, man. And I got no problem doing that. Because I ain't right. Every one of these takes 10 screws, and I'm using 10 screws. Don't want, don't want nobody to say, them had 10 holes and you only used 8 screws, that's not going to be strong enough. I'm using 10. It's a bit overkill, I think, but I'm going to use them. Alright then. Move on to the next one. Y'all get the point. You in there? Anybody in there? All right, just got what, two more to go. You again? You don't learn. You just don't learn. Put you back in the shed. Oh, all the water, all the uh, condensation dried up. That's cool. Now, if you could just behave.
up the ladder, down the ladder, up the ladder, down the ladder. I gotta get some more screws. So I'll keep an eye on that one. these temporarily and when you get up here I get up here to do the joist hangers do the final adjustment all right I see I got my line my center line there and it's way off need to check up here that's perfect and this one's gonna be off a little bit but it'll be all right some of these uh two by sixes got a little bow to them i am gonna block down the center of these this is an added You can use two by sixes of a span of 12 feet, and I've got a little over 10. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put some blocks in the centers just to help take the bows out of them. That way, when we put the deck on, it'll be a lot easier. And uh, I've already talked to Drew from Dutch Creek Cabin. He's gonna come help me with this deck because I can't get on my knees like that, and I can't really bend over too far. And, you know, he's, so he's going to help me with that part. So that helps. Alright, a couple more screws here. I know this is boring, but it's, yeah, it's an important part of it. One more. Alright. Turn you guys off till we do something more interesting or equally as boring all right i wasn't going to film this uh, but some people might like to know uh, what i'm doing here is i'm putting blocks down the center and what that does it keeps your joist from bowing or moving one way or another uh gives you a nice you know this i'm cutting these at 14 and a half because that's what it, if you're centered on 16 and a half on center, then that's what the center should be. And uh, for those that don't know, the reason I stagger them is that if you was to put them in a straight line, you couldn't get on the back side of the board to put the uh, nail or screw in. I was trying to nail them. It's just such a pain trying to move this thing back and forth. You got to switch the ladder back and forth every five minutes. So I'm just going to throw some screws in here. These are not structural. I mean, they're not important for the strength of the structure. All they do is they keep your your joists equal distance apart and keep them from bowing. So what I'm doing is just staggering them. Hammered. See, they're not real tight. And they don't have to be perfect. They're not going to be seen. But you don't want them above your joist otherwise you're going to have a spot where you got your deck boards uh, flopping around but I don't want them looking like crap either all right I usually just run my finger make sure it's flush or a little little bit below actually the best place to put them and it's just easier with the drill easier if I had a shorter one of these it'd be even better
And yeah. a lot of you already knew this, but there's people I know personally out there that are building things that don't have any construction experience. And they may not know what this is. This is the pain in the butt part. You gotta come down, flip the ladder around, go back up. But, and then I'm gonna run into my table saw, so I'm gonna have to move that. <laughs> but this also allows me to use up a lot of the scrap pieces that I cut off of these. And there's hardly any waste, and everything will go to some sort of use. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back. Put on the blocks. All right, I am putting another two by six under here for added support. We'll put some of these in here. I'm also gonna put a few lag bolts in this, so don't nobody freak out. will also help me when I'm framing my frame for my screens. You will see. I got the support for that one installed there. I got it on the other end over there. Now I'm getting ready to put this center one on. So let's get it on there. do something else with this center that's I like that now, I don't want it too tight because these things aren't well they're they're wet so they will shrink so I guess being tight ain't bad now, let me tap that dude in there where's my hammer all right got all that done put up I'm ready to start running some uh Roofing joists. Might as well. This is going to be the tricky part, man. Trying to do this. and Actually, this kind of helps me putting that second uh, double ledger on there. Because now I don't... Uh, it doesn't really help me. I don't know. We'll see. And I was going to put some flashing from that. But as you can see, man, it's got a roof there. I mean, that goes out a good two feet. I'll never see water come on this uh, end of this house. It is always dry, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Everything's treated, you know. Water gets in, I guess, you know. I've never seen it come down. I, this house, this T111 always stays dry. It just doesn't rain this under that, you know, that, uh, what do you call them? It keeps it dry. All right, let me uh, get started on the roof, man. Now it gets fun. All right, I got the first roofing joist cut. Here. Got a wasp dive bombing me. Uh, I'll see if it fits, but I haven't marked anything out yet. So. These ought to be a lot easier. Yep, that's gonna fit. All right, I'm gonna start off 16, uh, 16 on center from that one. All right, I'm going to take a measurement all the way across, see what I got. I don't remember. Back. All 
All right, guys, I got the first roofing joist in, and we've got a storm brewing. So I've got to get these tools covered up, everything put away. Uh, this is going to be the challenge of the job, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to go, I can only go every three stud or three uh, joist or rafter, whatever they are, man. You know what I'm saying. Then I got to throw a piece of metal on there. Because if I don't, I'm going to have all these in my way and have to, and believe me, I ain't fitting real easy through a 16 inch opening. So I'm going to put another one here. Go ahead and throw a piece of metal up. That's going to take a little notching, like right in there. All right in there. Then I got a few easy pieces, then another notch. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do here yet. I got to see where my tin ends up, but I may end up having to put a stud here, which I really don't want to do. Uh, or yeah, uh, or after, but we'll see. We'll see where my metal reaches. But that's a pretty big opening to span. So I'm gonna get this wrapped up for the day, get my stuff covered back up, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll get this roof on tomorrow. Weather, if the weather is cooperating, which this time of year you don't never know. But we're definitely making some progress. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Happy trails. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. Give me a like. Give me an unlike. Be honest. Happy trails.